Hello everyone. So in this video, we will discuss about authentication, basically basic authentication for inbound web services. So if you remember in another video, we have already seen like how to design an inbound web service API so that other client or other third party tool can consume it to kind of insert the data in ServiceNow or get the data from ServiceNow basically what your api is allowing them to do so uh, in service now we can have basic authentication as well as we can have auth 2.0 authentication for the inbound calls so if you remember we were discussing previously uh while we are going to be the publisher of web services basically the inbound part of uh, service now then we need to share an endpoint with the third party tool or third party app which is going to consume our services and we have to share the authentication details as well so previously we have seen three types of inbound web services that was direct that is we call in service now table api which are kind of enabled for uh, each table in service now out of box then second one we have seen import set web services that is through transform map capabilities of service now we can integrate through import set web services that means uh, there will be an intermediate table and then data will be transformed to target table using that intermediate table Third one we studied about for the amount is the rest web service now when we are going to share these api with the third party tool we need to share authentication as well again authentication will be decided based on sensitivity of data, based on what other client or third party tool is going to support and what client takes the decision due to security reasons and many other benefits of uh, like over 2.0 or maybe they are okay with basic authentication. So in this video, we will cover uh, how to do that basic authentication part, what you need to share when a uh, third party tool is asking you share the basic authentication we are going to do the integration with basic authentication so you are going to share the endpoint or digital plus a credential which will be uh, acting as a basic authentication part so uh, when we are acting as an amount we need to share endpoint for the rest if we are using rest then we need to share the content type which content type uh, we are going to accept and and again, we have to share the content, what content you are accepting, like if you are using the JSON, like what JSON you are expecting them or third party tool to send and then authentication detail. So we are going to talk this authentication detail here. So, for the authentication detail when we are talking about the basic authentication we need to create a user so if we are using the soap or if we are using the rest then accordingly we have to provide certain roles to the user so how we will uh, create that authentication detail let me switch to service now instance So you simply need to go to this user table. You can go like this or you can go to user administration and from there you can go. You just need to click on new. A new form will open. Now you integration user. dot user and then email id that is not required then first name maybe you can put integration user last name user uh, note down this password make sure this password you need to share with the third party tool one important thing which uh, people mostly forgot 
make it web services access only so what is the benefit of this the benefit of making that user web service access only is the person to whom you are going to share these credentials okay they will not be able to log in manually in this account they will be only able to use this account for the web services call so this increases the security of this account now we need to provide the roles so in terms of roles uh, sometimes you may providing like uh, if you are using the rest then you need to provide the rest related roles if you are using the soap then you can provide the soap related use roles when you will type the soap you will see like if you want to give them the create permission then you use create soap according to a requirement you may be able to provide these roles and if you want to use rest then you need to provide the rest service role or if you want to give them access to rest api explorer then you can provide this role additionally you may need to provide other roles uh, if your uh, table or the api is kind of uh, restricted through some different roles so those roles you may need to provide when you are using the transform map or import set web services then you have you may need to provide the import transformer role so import underscore transformer role you may need to provide when you are going to use import set api and uh, similarly i i am providing for the kind of uh, testing purpose these roles so roles and transform map so you may restrict it to what you want the third party tool to do through that api now your user account is ready for basic this user creation and using this account the third party tool will be able to authenticate the user through this user account they will be able to call the rest or soap api whichever you are sharing with them and they will be able to perform the operations which are allowed by api thank you for watching the video we'll be back with another video please like share and subscribe